We are here today for another free visual inspection of a multifamily property. In, th in this case, it's an apartment complex. So we've got 11 buildings built in the 80s, built with uh, very common vinyl siding, cladding. And I'll take you through how we do a visual inspection and what we're looking for. So stay tuned, this will be fun. Welcome to the Building Doctor Show with Jens Johansson. Before we shoot, we're gonna wipe away the graffiti. That's one of the advantages of vinyl siding. <laughs> okay, today we're looking at one of Alex's properties. Alex is the area maintenance manager of this, of this property, and he has been kind enough to let us, let us take a walk around his building and, and, and help him define some, some maintenance issues that need to be addressed. You know, I think the, the vinyl siding has always been an issue. We've had mm -hmm. pieces disconnect. We've had pieces blow off in the wind. We've had that. kids kick the soccer balls and break pieces of it. Yep. <laughs> it's, uh, that's been an ongoing struggle right. to kind of keep that vinyl siding intact. And what, what is effective. the year? How old is the building? I uh, can't tell you exactly. It's mid 80s, I believe. Mid 80s, okay. So vinyl siding from a manufacturer and industry standpoint has like a 20, 25 year lifespan. And so we're, 35 and so it's it's fragile right now and it's just it just breaks down with UV damage and and uh, and that was kind of early 80s was kind of right when vinyl siding was coming out and so they've now gotten their recipes better and their their mixes better but uh, you know that may be something you want to put on your replacement capital plan of putting on some fiber cement siding that's more durable and get another 30 years out of it fantastic so, yeah Cool. Well, thanks for letting us look around your property. I appreciate, appreciate it, Jen. Yeah. Thank you. you so this is a vinyl sided building with wood trim. So I'm gonna take you around, around it real quick for kind of high level, and then we're gonna zoom in on what you can do with your vinyl siding building. You can tell it's vinyl siding because it, it flexes and you can see the seams at the ends of the pieces. They kind of clap. You can hear that clapping. So. Then we see the wood trim. We see a vinyl window. We see metal head flashing over the window. That's good. And we have some kind of, this is a vinyl J mold against the wood trim. One of the problems of vinyl siding is it'll come detached. The pieces interlock on the bottom. And so if the wind or something, they'll tend to detach there. And so I'll, I'll show you how easy it comes off. This is called a five-in-one paint scraper. You can actually peel the siding back. Here's how I nail on the top row and then the bottom of it clips into this clip. And so the wind will blow and this this will kind of loosen up. This is one of the disadvantages of vinyl siding if you will because it kind of blows around. But now we can see our building paper and we can see the, the seam and maybe a, maybe a tear in the nail, but it's, it's kind of, eh, I'm not real excited about it. I can see the gyp sheathing underneath it. So that's like drywall, but this isn't an invasive inspection, so I'm not gonna tear it open, but you can see rusty nail heads. Here's a, here's a non-rusted one. But there's evidence of water kind of flowing through this system. You can snap it back together by taking your tool and getting right back under it. It's plastic and it sheds water, but a lot of water gets around it and can get through it. From your pieces that come open to kind of wide corners, you can see water just more flows through it. So many people think that your siding is your weather resistive barrier, but actually that building paper or Tyvek is your building's rain coat. So the water deflects off this, but obviously with vinyl it can get through and around and it designed to hit that paper, then drain out. So with our proper vertical legs of our flashing under our paper, it'll run down and come out at this window head. I don't feel a gap at the flashing where the water should drain. I feel a sealant joint where it's been sealed shut. So this is a problem. The drainage has actually been sealed shut. And so that's like plugging the bathtub. 
So the water will build up behind here and hang out. It won't fall out. So that's one thing I'd be, I'd be concerned about. Running down the... Could you try again? Hi, Siri. <laughs> okay, so what we're seeing here, water is likely running down the wall, getting in behind the building paper. So this is the, this is the building's raincoat. How did it get behind? So the paper is probably reverse lapped against the window and the paper facing of the gypsum sheathing isn't uh, water resistant. And so we have some, we have some evidence of water, water there. And so we want to get that fixed. So at this area where the siding has come off, it's at the floor line between the first and second floors. You can see the dryer vent or bath fan vent in that floor line. At your floor line, you're gonna have settlement because your rim joists are running this way and your wall studs are running this way. The rim joist is going to shrink with the grain dimension and it's all designed to do that. But here, floor lines are where we see a lot of settlement. So when I have a clipped siding piece that shrinks, that clip comes loose. And so we'll see a lot more siding come popping off at these clips. So it's a good place to you know, just inspect. I have torn billing paper and I have water staining on it. And so this is directly under a window, but I can see water damage under here just by doing that much of a, that much of a look-see now. We can get maintenance to tighten that up and see why we have water damage under it. That's how fast it is to look at a vinyl siding building. Real easy for you to do. Little simple tool, find a loose piece of siding, peel it back, see what's going on underneath it. We've seen buildings without building paper. Um, and so you can quickly check. If you don't have a raincoat, you're gonna get wet. If the raincoat has holes in it, you're gonna get wet. Even the three little pigs didn't build their house out of paper, right? We know that paper and water don't get along. And so that's the problem with paper-faced gypsum sheathing that was really prevalent 70s to 90s, early 90s. And then we moved over to the yellow uh, fiberglass, like a Den's Gold or something like that, that has more water resistivity to it. Hi guys, thanks for watching this episode. We hope you learned something. Our goal is to teach you how to do it yourself and inspect your own buildings. So if you missed any episodes, please hit the subscribe button. And if you like what we're doing, hit that bell and you'll be notified for more educational videos. Thanks for watching.